A very warm welcome back. It's a Friday on your Feel Good Breakfast Show and a new year. I still feel like I'm in the new year spirit of things. Eh? No, but the, listen, we've only been live for a week, so maybe yeah. you're watching for the first time today. Happy New Year. Well, yeah. with the new year comes all kinds of resolutions. Yeah. Well, you need to make New Year's resolutions, uh, change the way you did things in 2014. <laughs> Are you making a resolution to make a resolution? Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> why I think, why yeah. do you think that's funny? No, but no, well, who makes a resolution to make a resolution? You know, Just make the resolution. You should like, make a resolution to be on time. You know what, this is a rumor that's going around Expresso's offices that I'm always late. But anyway, apparently being late says something about your, your psychology. Like, I don't know. We, we need to find out more about this, right? Like your intloko yako, your brain. Yes, exactly. Well, we've got Dr. Helga Schirmer talking to you and right now about exactly that. What does it mean if you're late all the time? Which I'm not. Um, I'm oddly late, but my wife's always late. I was actually late for work this morning. I overslept. I'm way too active during the day. I get so tired and I don't take enough time out for sleep and resting. Sometimes I am late. Um, maybe just a rushed life. I call me late when I go in the afternoon. I call me late. I call me late. I am never late. I hate latecomers. I'm pronto, always prompt love to be prompt and if there is anyone that's late i get very irritated and frustrated my my watch is actually always five minutes uh up front not to be late so but you know sometimes people say oh but your watch is five minutes ahead only if some people comes on time and the others comes in time everybody's going to be always on time but if everybody's going to be late 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 it's going to just be a must confuse at the end of the day some people will always be late forever Fashionably late is always good, but don't be too late. I tell people who are constantly late to just think ahead a bit more, start preparing to leave earlier. You know, plan the night before, you know, get your clothes ready, you know, set your alarm in good time, you know, have an early evening. Make sure your TV automatically switches on to the espresso show so you get up and watch it. And then, uh, yeah. In the wise words,